was a kid, there was only one monster in the woods that I truly feared. You could never hear it coming, even though it was big, sometimes 20, 30 feet tall. It was a hairy beast, too, and a close encounter could make you miserable for weeks. I'm talking about a plant called poison ivy. I rubbed some on my forearm right here about 12 hours ago. The redness and swelling is just starting to appear. Tim Drought is one of those rare individuals who isn't allergic to poison ivy. The president of the Muhlenberg Botanical Society, he recently gave me a formal introduction to the plant. Look for those three shiny leaves. Poison ivy has tiny greenish-white flowers and later in the season, white berries. Although it's a vine, the plant doesn't necessarily climb trees. You can get poison ivy from the leaves, stems, or roots. And you don't have to come in direct contact with the plant. Just pet the pooch after he's been running through a patch, and you'll see what I mean. Next time, Tim will show us another plant that can make you uncomfortable, plus a couple of harmless look-alikes. And we'll also get an update on my rash. I'm Jack Hubley, News 8. And Jack says prescription medications are the most effective at fighting poison ivy. And for fast relief from the itch, just run some hot water over the rash. Just be sure not to burn yourself. You know, they say